Okay, we're back again now with the bath with more water in it. Quite warm, and I'd like Mum Sarah to come up. Sonia, Sonia, I'm getting all the names wrong. Sonia to come over and just check the temperature of the bath because she'll be doing this at home now with Franklin. So, what do you think about the temperature of the bath? Quite hotter than normal, yeah. That, quite than you would expect. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And this is a big issue for a lot of parents. But that's okay. Right, now the difference here is we don't do any pre washing with the young man and we pop him in the other way. Alright, he goes into this water. Now he will object to start with. We hold him like this. Now you need to calm down about that, and he will. And he floats, and you can see now that he floats in the water with his head rested on the palm of my hand. That's the only way we hold a baby in relax. Now, you will watch through this bath. His hands are clenched tightly. They will slowly open up and start to explore the water. Oh, you're going to flip over instead. Hey, you lens lizard, are you? going to be a lens list. and if babies want to do that that's fine they can flip over but again you just hold them in the palm of your hand and you let him explore the water you okay with that oh no I've got wet sleeve it's all up so we turn you over and again we just wash them in the water just with our hands you don't need a cloth but if you want to use a cloth you can I have a cloth here that we can use so if you want to use a cloth, now he's going to flip over again onto his tummy. You can just wash their face with a cloth, as so. We're going to flip you over, my darling. Flipping over onto the palm of your hands. Now, you splay your fingers here. Now, this bathing technique is um, the creation of a mentor of mine from the 1980s, Anne Burley. And she actually did make a video about this, but I have not, in all my travels around Australia, seen any hospital teaching relaxation bathing to this day. So once he's over on his tummy, you splay your hands out. So if you get any water in the palm of your hand, it actually goes through so he doesn't start drinking it. But it's also okay. If their head or mouth goes under the water, that's okay. You just gently lift them up. If you're uncomfortable, if he's going to flip over again, let's see if we can get you on your tummy, love. There we are. If you're worried about how they move in the water, then you can just put your hand on the back of his head and that's quite secure. You can do anything with him like that quite safely. And you just, you can wash his little face, the back of his head like this. You can pour a little bit of water over his head. And you can see now that his feet are starting to move. He's stretching out or his hands opening up. I can't see. No, they're still, still, still. Oh, they're a little bit softer than they were. But he can stay in this bath anything up to 20 or 30 minutes, as long as the bath stays warm. Now, this backhand is starting to open up now. And you can see he's, he's actually starting to explore the water a little bit with his legs. He'll stretch them out. He's quite comfortable. He's no longer crying. <laughs> and he's doing that movement himself. And you can see his hand is opening up down the bottom there. I can't see his front hand. And he's floating quite freely, freely in the water there. So that one's still bunched. This one's just starting. And now he's starting to just explore what he can and can't do. If he starts bending his head back a little bit, you just tip it forward with your finger. You let him float. And again, if you want to use soap, this is when you can soap your hand up and rub some soap on. But again, newborn babies up to six, eight weeks of age, even older than that, they generally don't get dirty. So they don't need soap to clean them. If you want to use a cloth, you can. But again, I, I prefer skin-to-skin -skin contact always with the baby. It's all they need. And you can see that where he was upset when he went in, now he's quite happy. Now you can see that those hands open and close and he's stretching his little legs out and you can see there's um, his cord starting to separate so there's little bits of the cord that are now floating in. oh you're going to flip over you like flipping over don't you franklin
That's a good boy. And then he's flipped himself back. Quite often they'll do a bit of froggy swimming with them. Now he's doing all of that movement himself. He's quite happy in there, discovering his own ability to move in water. Now this is something that normal traditional bathing does not give the baby. And his eyes are open and he's alert and watching. Okay, is that good? Is that good? So his bottom hand is opening up now. That top one's staying clenched for whatever reason. Okay, you're not going to follow the props like I spoke into your ear before we went in here. Your hands have to open. Oh, they're, they're, it's loosely clenched. It's not tight like it was when he went in. And he's quite happy there. No crying. So the water's not too hot. If it was too hot, he would continue to scream. And because it's so warm, there we go. We're going to start exploring. You're going to come onto your back. And you see, as soon as they turn onto their back, that startle reflex kicks in. Do you want to go onto your back, little man? No? What do you want to do? But again, all you have to do is flip him over onto his tummy and you can see now he's really starting to get the idea of the water. He's quite relaxed in there. He's awake and alert. Uh, with, I've often, when I've been demonstrating and helping parents do this sort of bathing with their children, the babies often fall asleep in the bath and they say, oh, they've fainted, the water's too hot. It's not that they've fainted, they're actually so relaxed, they've gone off to sleep. If you've got a fractious baby, relaxation bathing is a wonderful, wonderful way to bath them because it really does relax them. And it's long-term effects um, continue on after the bath. Now, the other thing we do that's different, we won't go on for 20 minutes here because you don't wanna watch a baby in a bath for 20 minutes, even though he's beautiful. And you can see, he's, if I put my hands down, but if for whatever reason you, you're sort of enjoying it so much and your hand slips, sort of soaks down into the water and his mouth goes under, it's okay. They'll swallow it and you just gently lift them back up again. Don't do anything suddenly in a relaxation bath. Just gently lift them out of the water. Um, it's well known fact that babies that um, have swimming awareness lessons from early on, um, we know that their throat closes over so they don't swallow the water. It automatically closes. It's a primitive reflex. And again, now you can see that his hands are open and he's exploring. And the other difference is now that we're going to take him out and dry him off. Let me just get that ready. We'll get rid of that out of there and down the bottom. When we lift them out, we lift them out from their tummy and we keep them in that nice relaxed position and we dry them on their tummy. So the reason for that is it keeps them in that relaxed um, mode, the anti startle reflex position. If you put them on their back, it, it, um, they respond with a startle reflex where their hands fly out and they end up, oh, just get a, can you get a photo of his little face here? Because it really is very, oh, he's going to look at you. <laughs> Good boy. He really is quite relaxed here. And you can see he's relaxed because his legs are long and not bunched up, but sometimes they will be up underneath him and that's the position a lot of newborn babies sleep. So again, we just dry them and we dry him off while he's on his tummy, all of him. And we'll just go around his head. Oh, you're very strong, young man, for a two-week-old baby. Look at you lifting your beautiful head. Hey, clever boy. And you can see he's quite pink, so the, the temperature was warm, but not too warm. If it was too warm, he would have cried and he would have screamed because when you're scalding a baby, it's an unpleasant sensation. So they do scream. So because he wants to turn that way, we just turn them on their side. Put his arm down and we just turn them this way onto his side so that we don't undo that relaxation and we dry the one side and onto his arm and stretch his little arm out 
And quite often this is a good thing to do when they're um, prior to their last feed, before they go to bed. And for me, for my children, that used to be at five o'clock in the afternoon. I was very lucky, but for other people, it might be eight, seven or eight at night um, for that last evening feed. Some people um, will wake them for a, what do they call them? A, a dream feed at around 12 if the baby hasn't woken. Um, whether you think it's necessary to do that, that's up to you. Um, you know your baby better than anyone else, so you need to have the um, confidence in yourself and your own baby that you know what's, what your baby needs. Now, I want to do a newborn examination now that he's like this and he's nice and warm, but that will be on the next video. So if you want to have a look at a newborn examination, um, Sonia, did you see a newborn examination done while you were in hospital of him? Did they uh, yes. explain it to you, what they were looking for? Uh, yes. Yes, excellent. So that should happen as routine when you have a new baby. They should explain what they're looking for. So that's the baby bath. That's the relaxation one. We'll keep him warm for the moment. Um, straight after a traditional one. You can see the difference. We'll go back over the differences again. Um, Traditional bathing is you wrap them, you wash their face and head first, wrapped in a towel, then you unwrap them, you put them in the water, holding under their arm, on their back, and give them a bit of a swirl through the water, out and dry. Relaxation bathing, very warm water, 38 degrees, much deeper, and you put them in, and the only place, the only contact you have with the baby is with their face in the palm of your hand, and they float freely. And that is, that, that is what aids the relaxation of a baby. If you have a fractious baby, it's a wonderful way to settle them before evening sleep. Okay, thanks for joining us today. What I would like to say is, um, I'll, I'll wrap him up, sorry, because I'll just have a quick brief talk about what Perceptive Parenting Australia is. I have launched Perceptive Parenting Australia to help parents um, with educational videos about children from pre-birth, so antenatally, right through to six years of age. There are 199 videos on the website in series. There are 10 series, um, and I invite you to go on and have a look at the website.